Sarah Palin gets booted off Fox News after she dared to call out Network for its decision. Former Alaska Gulf Sarah Palin has apparently become the latest talent casualty at Fox News. The familiar face on the network says she has been booted from the lineup after she recently spoke out against the network during an interview with conservative rival Newsmax. In an interview Friday with Eric Balling, himself a former Fox News host, Palin explained how her recent criticisms of Fox had left her on the outs with the network. As a matter of fact, Eric, thanks to you, I've lost another gig, Palin said. It was just about a week or so ago, I was on your show. I told you what I thought about what Fox was doing. I had been booked by Fox for the next day, and a mutual friend of ours had been listening. He texted right after my interview and he said, okay, watch. In three, two, one. You're gonna get canceled. Yep. I got canceled from Fox and haven't been invited back, she said. The Western Journal added, Palin didn't specify exactly what she said, but the liberal news site The Daily Beast speculated that it might have been commenting she made on May 1st on Bowling's program The Balance. On that episode, Palin said Fox is no longer the outlet for conservatives it used to be, The Daily Beast reported, but was just one of these corporate-owned, woke-disconnected elites who call the shots in lamestream media and they look at us as just the peons, just the subjects. The network appears to be publicly shedding its conservative image, most notoriously by the still unexplained termination of former Fox host Tucker Carlson on April 26th. The network has been in a decline ever since, and while a television audience can be a fluctuating matter, Palin said Fox is reaping the consequences it deserves. It's not even economically smart what they are doing. They're losing audience, night after night after night. People just want the truth. They want facts. Palin told the Newsmax host. They don't want that rehearsed narrative via the talking points sent out by the Democrat Party. We know how this works, Eric, she continued. People just want the who, what, where, when, and why of journalism. I have a journalism degree. I started off my career as a reporter and as a sports reporter. I know how it's supposed to work. Roughly a week after Fox took Carlson off the air in late April, a report claimed that Newsmax made him a huge offer to join their team. The niche conservative news channel is still small compared with Fox News, but its viewership has doubled and in some time slots even tripled since Tucker Carlson was dismissed, the New York Times reported, adding that Newsmax is attempting to position itself as the true home for conservatives. So far, the strategy is showing some promise, the Times added. Newsmax programming has aggressively pushed a narrative that Mr. Carlson's dismissal was a capitulation to the left by Fox News and the Murdoch family, the report continued. Fox has been moving to embrace more of an establishment position, Newsmax's chief executive, Christopher Ruddy, said last week, the Times reported. They want to renounce some of the Trumpisms and populist mega stuff that Tucker was echoing. For his part, Ruddy says he wants to embrace all sides of the Republican Party. Meanwhile, TMZ reported that Reddy made a stellar offer to Carlson in an attempt to woo him, even going so far as to offer Carlson the power to program the entire network. Sources with direct knowledge tell TMZ. The news channel is doing everything it can to sweeten the deal for Tucker to come on board, including floating the idea of letting him program the whole channel, not just his own show, the outlet added.